Let's see. <laughs> uh, Hog Nation, welcome back in. I know that you and I, we don't really have the greatest of rapport, right? I don't like a lot of Tom's political music and y'all don't like as stands criticism of an artist that y'all like. Y'all want reactors to come out here and basically become an echo chamber for y'all a lot of the time. And this is not just y'all. This is most stan fan bases. I'm just letting, giving you some insight into the way that stan fan bases operate in case you're unaware, because you might be blind, can't see the forest for the trees type shit. Stan fan bases in general cannot take criticism of the artists that they want to see. They come into reaction channels hoping that they're just going to get an echo chamber for their thoughts, hoping that I like it and find it as hyped as y'all guys find it. It's not just y'all, not, not singling you out. It's just the way these very loyal fan bases operate. And it's just proven over history. My Tom McDonald videos are generally the ones that do the poorest in terms of like to dislike ratio because y'all say that I'm getting offended. But really what I see is y'all getting upset that I don't like the music in the same way you do. Y'all call me a liberal snowflake. I don't really want the truth. We, we finally got someone speaking the truth, brother. Hell yeah. When that couldn't be further from the truth. I am someone who's a big proponent of the First Amendment. I, in my opinion, you can say whatever the fuck about anybody you want. I don't care if you're racist. I don't care if you're a polarizing figure. As long as you're not causing harm or inciting riot, feel free to say whatever the fuck you want. I don't even care. It's your right as an American citizen to do so. It's what the country was founded on, baby. So I do have a lot of the same, and I agree with Tom sometimes with his with his points. The reason that I don't like Tom's music for the most part, he, he found this very specific formula and this very specific demographic, middle-aged, white, middle of America, middle-class demographic to be specific. He found y'all guys and y'all all gravitated toward it and i think that the artistry and the musicianship is kind of suffered because he's making music that caters to y'all because tom mcdonald when he's not making political tracks i'm like oh shit this really isn't that bad hooks are trash my opinion they're trash but the songs are decent they're well produced music videos are well produced it's just when he makes the political tracks i feel like he's just throwing buzzwords out I feel like he's just touching the surface because that's what y'all want. He's not actually diving in to any of these topics in any way. It's just all buzzword, buzzword, Republican, buzzword, Republican, buzzword, red, Donald Trump, Ben Shapiro. Now, <laughs> the fuck is Ben Shapiro doing here, bro? <laughs> so yeah, it's not necessarily that I dislike Tom as a person. It's not that I dislike his music. It's just that I feel it's very disingenuous in my opinion. In my opinion, I feel like it caters to y'all because y'all are so fucking y'all are like foaming at the mouth for for right leaning media to have any light especially light in a form of media that is very minority dominated. And y'all might not even be aware of this. This might be news to y'all. <laughs> this might be news to y'all why y'all like Tom McDonald. But y'all are just so amped up that you have Tom McDonald saying things in a form of media where these things normally aren't said. And sometimes I don't believe that he believes what he's saying. He's just found a way to get rich off of these political right-leaning buzzwords and topics. And here, once again, we have another political video <laughs> with fucking ben shapiro bro out of all people if there's any if there's anything that shows that this might be that he might be feeding y'all an echo chamber of your own opinions to get rich off of it if there's any sign that that might be happening it's probably getting ben shapiro to be a feature on a rap song but let's see what we got i'm not gonna ask you to like or fucking follow or subscribe or join the patreon or anything we all know you're not going to come on now Let's be honest with each other. You're not joining none of that shit. Y'all ain't joining none of that shit, so let's get right on into it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're doing it live. Y'all know who said that? Your other boy, Bill O'Reilly, when he was with fucking Extra or Backstage Extra or whatever the fuck. The original Me Too motherfucker. Goddamn. Rip Bill O'Reilly. They call me offensive, controversial. It's only two genders, boys and girls. They can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist. Y'all yeah, right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. I don't want to talk to folks who don't. See, like, I believe that. That's a good little point he made right there. If every Caucasian's a bigot, then every Muslim must be a terrorist, right? Like, y'all want it one way, but not the other. You want your cake and you eat it too. But, again criticism of tom's music and it might not be criticism it might just be the fact that i feel like every tom mcdonald instrumental sounds the same there's like zero innovation with beat selection this song sounds like the song before it sounds like the song before it sounds like the song before it 
terrorists, every Muslim's a terrorist, every liberal is right. I don't wanna talk to folks who don't get it. Go woke, go broke, no hope is pathetic. Pro choice pronouns, pro love your progressives. But you ain't pro gun, no one to protect you. Where the American uh. flags at? Remember when people would hang those? They've been taken down, they all been replaced with BLM flags or a rainbow. The same rap, the same money, cars and clothes. See, like, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I mean when he's saying things y'all want to hear. I see on a daily probably 10 times more American flags than anything else. I, I might not even see an LGBTQ flag. Black Lives Matter as an organization barely fucking exists anymore. They're at the end of life cycle and we're still trying to talk to them and we're still trying to talk about them because it gets y'all riled up type shit. Like, do we really believe that trans flags are replacing American flags everywhere in the fucking world and eventually they're going to overtake do we really believe that? Republicans, I'm asking you as a fellow Republican. Well, if someone doesn't talk about it now, it sure might be the case in the future. Appreciate you, Tom, for bringing it to life. Hang those. They've been taken down. They've all been replaced with BLM flags or a rainbow. The same rap, the same money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs. We ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing. Again, y'all don't listen to rap music, Tom McDonald fans. Y'all hear this lyric right fucking here. Y'all hear this and y'all are like, yeah. Tom, talk about it. That's all that these rappers talk about. That's how I know y'all don't listen to rap music. Because yeah, you're going to have your extremes. You're going to have your people that get mad popular talking about that. But that is not all rap music. It's not all rap. It's not even, that's not even all the popular side of rap music. Once again, a triggering buzzword for him to throw out there for y'all guys to be like, oh yeah, fuck rap. Yeah, yeah, then no wonder I don't listen to rap. It's all about guns and it's all about gang violence. And then for the rap music that is popular, the, for the rap music that does glorify guns and violence, y'all don't wanna look at the root reason as to why this even exists. You don't wanna look at the fact that sometimes these kids, that's all that they know. You don't wanna look at the fact that there is not a lot of funds and resources that are going into these hoods. So a lot of people feel the only way out is through fast money. Well, that might not be the truth. Well, you and I know that we can go and get a job. We can go and start from the bottom. We can go and work our way up, becomes a McDonald's, you know, flip burgers and then move on to the next move and, and generally get your way out. But that's easy to say on the outside looking in. These young kids in the hood, all they see is dribble a ball or get on the mic. Do y'all want to admit that, though? Do y'all want to admit that that might be part of the reason why this music sounds the way that it does? Get on the mic, dribble basketball, deal drugs to make enough money to move your family out the hood. We ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns, ain't promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I don't care if I offend you I was put here to upset you You can cry and you can scream You can ride in the streets You defunded the police Now there's no one to protect you I hope I offend you I ask myself what would Ben do <laughs> Let's just keep it real facts Don't care how you feel man If you want my pronouns I'm the man I'm the man who don't respect Let's look at the Oh man, Ben Shapiro's nasally ass voice about to come in right here. Bro really said, what would Ben do? Like if he was Jesus? <laughs> I guess he is fucking re Republican Jesus, huh? I can see how y'all guys would worship Ben Shapiro on every word that he says. Hey, real quick, this is me mid-edit. I'm editing this video right now. I don't know how many of y'all got the joke right there. The joke is that Ben Shapiro is Jewish, so me calling him the Republican Jesus is funny because he doesn't even believe in Jesus. Yeah, y'all get it? No? Yeah? Hold on, I gotta listen to that hook one more time. Gotta listen to it one more time. <laughs> I for lost my train of thought once I saw a fucking what would Ben do? We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I don't care if I offend you. The crazy thing is that y'all act like daughters are becoming hoes because of the music. That's what y'all think. And are we going to act like poor ass fucking strip clubs don't exist in the whitest rural area of, of fucking Louisiana? No? I don't care if I offend you. See, look, there's a there's a political point that I do agree with. I do believe we need police officers. What is defunding the police going to do? Literally, like, really, do we need police officers to go through some kind of psychology training? Do we need them to go into some kind of, you know, fight or flight response and how to like you shouldn't be having that fight or flight response as a police officer to a situation? Do I think that police make bad judgment decisions? 
Of course I do. They're human. But to say defund the police, that is about as blanket of a statement as the shit that Tom McDonald says on the right side. Like all these blanket statements, they just don't mean shit. To me, defund the people who say defund the police are the same ones that are saying like, hey, we need more gun laws. Like, you know who obeys gun laws? Legal, responsible gun owners. Those are the ones that obey the laws. You, you think putting more laws for the people who already don't don't obey the ones that, that exist already? You think that they are going to obey more? Ah, shit. They put another law in place. Never mind. Call off the fucking robbery. We can't get any guns. You think that that's the way that works? Like, really? Like, that, that doesn't make any fucking common sense in my noggin. I told y'all. I told y'all that I agree with some of y'all's opinions. Y'all just y'all just weren't listening. Y'all wanted to hate right out of the gate. Let's see what Ben had. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what Ben's got. All right, you want my pronouns? I'm the man that don't respect you. I get it. That's not bad. Ben Shapiro's about to come on to this fucking rap song right now. The fuck? What I paused it to say, though, the first time that I heard facts don't care about your feelings, I said, ooh, that shit is so hard. That is a fire-ass tagline. Fire-ass tagline. Facts don't care about your feelings. That shit is gas. Man, I'm the man who don't respect Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Liz my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Dog, it's a yarmulke, homie, no cap. <laughs> Benny boy coming out the gate with some bars. Dog, it's a yarmulke, no cap. What else did he say? He said another one in there. My money like Lizzo, my pockets are fat. Bro said my money like Lizzo, my pockets are fat. Oh, man. You know what the problem is in my beef with the reaction community in general? Not shame on y'all reactors, but my beef with the reaction community. And I hate to burst y'all's bubble, guys. Right now, Hog Nation, if you're still watching this, I'm bursting your bubble. These reactors, when they get off of when they and when they stop that record button, these reactors are going, that song fucking sucked. Their title might say, this shit is so hard. This shit is gas. Damn. Ben Shapiro, Tom McDonald got a got a banger. They might say shit like that when the camera's recording. I promise you, promise you, when these guys turn off that recording, how do they not feel disgusting for selling out like that? And this is what I'm talking about. This is why I'm different as a reactor because I won't tell you what you what you want to hear. If it, if what you want to hear doesn't align with what I want to say, sorry. I'm like a homie, no cap. Look at the grass. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison. I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. <laughs> I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This ain't rap. This ain't money. Card. I guarantee that was he. Tom McDonald probably wrote that verse for him. Uh, he called out Nicki Minaj, bro. Uh, Nicki's losing her fucking head top as I record this, bro. Damn, you know what? The barbs might be part in the mix with the Hog Nation right now. Holy fuck, I didn't even think about that. Let's be real, guys, for a second. Only reason this song is number one anywhere on the chart is because Ben Shapiro's on a rap song. We have foaming at the mouth far right republicans yeah, i guess not even that far right just foaming at the mouth republicans who don't see their political view on youtube that often especially in rap music we got y'all's god ben shapiro with tom mcdonald mr political buzzword here and there in rap music so of course y'all are going to run up the numbers if ben shapiro was not on the if ben shapiro wasn't on this song this song would not be number one it's only number one because of the novelty of ben shapiro this ain't rap this ain't money cars and clothes we ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns, ain't remote and strip of poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I don't care if I offend you. The, the hook is the same every fucking you. song. It's cool to be the victim Well, I'ma be the man You sad, you sad, you sad You just try to get attention Being triggered's all you have You mad, you mad, you mad You blame everybody else For every problem that you can You sad, you sad, you sad I will never say I'm sorry I ain't taking nothing back 
Low key forgot this motherfucker was from Canada until that moment when he said sorry. <laughs> I will never say I'm sorry. I ain't taking nothing back. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you. You can cry and you can scream. You can ride in the street to the front of the police. Now there's no one to protect you. I'm not laughing at the song. The song's over. This is just the last hook. I'm laughing at the fact that I'm looking at Tom McDonald, right? His face, his braids, his grill, facial tattoos, height, tattoos everywhere. I'm looking at Tom McDonald, and in my mind, I'm thinking, if Ben Shapiro saw Tom McDonald walking toward him on the street, Ben Shapiro is crossing to the other side of the street to continue walking. <laughs> Again, guys, my number one gripe with Tom McDonald political songs is that this is just a regurgitation of a prior political song on a new beat. Not even a new hook. It's basically the same fucking hook over and over. Same political fucking sound, uh, like topics. Same just brushing over the top of them, no digging down into them. Just kind of saying key buzzwords that get people going. And that's it. I was going to say I respect the number one. I really don't respect the number one because it's not just Tom McDonald making such a viral song that it goes number one. Again, it's only number one because Ben Shapiro's on this motherfucker. Another Tom McDonald track, political wise, that I'm just like, there's nothing memorable here for me. And that's really my main gripe with Tom is that I know he is a better rapper than this. Shit's mid. Again.